The contents of the studio joiner are the baseboard, molding vise, lever assembly, molding spacer, support rods, wrenches, screws and knobs, levelers, and extra nails. To assemble the studio joiner, first insert each support rod into the baseboard and affix the washers and screws from the bottom of the base using the wrench provided. Next, install the lever assembly onto the support rods and affix with the large knobs provided. The studio joiner is now ready for use. Hardwood V-nails versus softwood V-nails. Softwood V-nails have a sharp edge to cut into the wood molding. Hardwood V-nails have a tempered, blunt edge, better suited for hardwoods. Which V-nail to use? Always use soft V-nails on softer woods to prevent bending. A soft V-nail can possibly bend going into harder woods, and a soft nail is not recommended for hardwoods. Always use hardwood V-nails on hardwoods to prevent splitting. A hard V-nail can possibly split softwoods. A hardwood V-nail is not recommended for softwoods. The height of the V-nail to be used should not exceed the height of the molding. Driving a V-nail one half to three quarter the height of the molding is usually sufficient. Space nails approximately one quarter to a half inch apart. For moldings one half to one and three quarter wide, use no more than two V-nails per corner. For moldings two inches to two and a half inches wide, use no more than three V-nails per corner. You're ready now to join the corners of your molding. But before we do, I'd like to share a very important tip with you to assure professional results. Mark the edge of each miter cut with a light colored stain marker to blend any seams that may show or exist once joined. Stain pen sets can be found at most art supply, craft, and hardware stores. It really makes a difference in your finished frame. Pre-glue each corner to be joined with a quality wood glue. Place both sides of the corner into the molding vise and tighten the handle to snug the vise foot in place. Do not over tighten. A simple snugging of the handle is more than sufficient pressure to clamp the molding in place. If the shape of the molding prevents the molding vise from sitting flat, it may be necessary to use the molding support tool. The support piece forces the vise to sit flat and allow for better driving of the V-nails. Here's an example of molding types that might need the molding support tool. Flip the molding vise over and place underneath the lever assembly. When joining a large frame, you may find it easier to use the levelers at each end of the molding to help hold things flat while driving V-nails. These usually won't be necessary on smaller frames. Before driving any nails, check that the depth gauge is making slight contact with any of the three vise posts before tightening the lever assembly in place. When finished, rotate the depth gauge up and out of the way. Now position the molding vise directly under the magnetic tipped V-nail holder. Clip a single V-nail onto the magnetic tip going the same direction as the molding joint. Press down firmly on the handle to drive the V-nail flush into the back of the molding joint. If more nails are required, move the molding vise to the next position Attach another nail onto the magnetic clip and continue joining. After a corner is joined, loosen the molding vise handle to release the join corner. Continue this process for the remaining three corners to complete your frame.